beast in Bauer. Look at this mess. This is going to take years to clean up. What am I supposed to do with this? I'll get to work. Uh, this will have to do. All right, perfect. Hey everybody, it's Bill from AtTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Now, I've talked about the Playful line a few times before, and if you're not familiar with what it is, it's an Argentina um, company that got the molds and you know writes to package these things up and kind of put them out. Um, they have a lot of very unique designs in their um, in their collection, and I'm hoping one day to be able to talk to the founder of Playful. Um, I'm just waiting to uh, circle back with him um, just to talk about like how many how many different figures he thinks he he manufactured because there's so many different variations and we'll talk about it briefly here in a second but it'd be really interesting uh, to, to find out that because uh, when i look over here i have uh two four six eight ten on the shelf yes that's how slow i count by the way and um I talked about the Cliff Dagger one I have up there, and I talked about it uh, in season three. I think it was episode uh, 66. And I have another one here that it's on my shelf, but it's one that I don't see too often. Um, and that is oh, Ace Riker with a jet. It's the jet from Slingshot. As you can see, with an Ace Riker figure, I'll take a, I'll take a, you know, a still screenshot of it, and put it up here, so it's a little easier to see. Um, it's pretty unique in its, in its way it's made. It's, well, not the way it's made, but the way it's presented. Um, naturally, it's from Slingshot. It's the jet, you know, inside of it. I'll get it. Hold on. Um, oh, tip: if you had, if you didn't see the slingshot episode, most likely your van's not broken. Uh, the wings are coming out just a little bit, and it's keeping your van from shutting. I just use a rubber band on mine uh, to keep it shut. So, don't think of it as a broken van. Think of it as the wings being a little bit too far out, and that will help keep it closed. Just a tip. Um, but yeah, you got the jet from Slingshot here, and then you got it packaged inside here with Ace. And I don't know if it's so I can't really tell for sure if it's actually Ace Riker or not, because if you notice with some of the other playful uh, figures, you have Ace Riker's body with Matt Tracker's head, and. Uh, Mm, all right, I'm gonna take one of the masks off of this one here because I know it's Matt Tracker. So here's one here. This is a playful figure. I'm gonna try to take the head off and not break it. The problem, so and I've talked about this before too. The problem is that the molds of the masks aren't meant for some of the heads, uh, vice versa. So you get really tight fits and then the mold might not be all together. So then when you pull the mask off, you disassemble the body. Uh, just like real life, I think, uh, if you wear a mask like this, you pull it off in the wrong way, you fall apart. Um, that can and does happen especially with these toys. Um, I can't get the mask off, but there's there's a ton of other ones here. Um, ones that I don't have. I always found this one funny because he's got this weird leg, right? Look, there he goes. So, yeah, let's get back to this here. So it's it's got the, it's got the two bombs or missiles, whatever you want to call it. And it's painted black uh, with the, exact same sticker configuration that you would get on the you know the jet itself uh, i don't know how to translate this 
Um, if you know what that means, let me know. But you can see the card's not punched. Uh, I don't know where these were intended to land uh, in the States or in Argentina, like what stores exactly. But, um, you know, it's, it's interesting to say the least. And a lot of people, so are they bootlegs? Not, yes and no, they're not really, they're not part of like the official line. Um, from my understanding, they actually do have like the rights from Kenner to use these. I just don't know. I don't know for sure because I had never been able to actually talk to anybody from Kenner. Um, I would love to because that's where it all originated. Like I, I would love to be able to talk to Kenner uh, employees that worked on the mask line. If you know of anybody out there that did, let me know because I, it, it'd just be so fascinating to, to talk shop one day. Um, on the back, you got some of the figure sets they came out with here from the adventure packs. They kind of, you know, took the body molds and uh, from some of the other ones and made them their own. And you know, it's it's not too bad. Uh, I, I, you know, what I've never seen, I've never seen these actually. If you have these carded, let me know. I've never seen those carded as a set. Now that I think about it, yeah, I've never seen those carded. So if you have, do have them, let me know. But again, let's get see if I can get as close in as I can here. And again, I'll post a picture here. But you can see, ugh, neighbor's dog, and then my dogs. Why not? All right. So <laughs> you can see it's got a pretty cool color design. Um, it's got a red like a jacket almost and a blue mask, blue purplish color. It's pretty unique. It's one of the most unique pieces in my collection. And of course, you got the nice playful logo down there. These pop up on eBay from time to time. Not the same color, not the same figure. It's always different. You might find it with Sly Rax. You might find it with a different variation of Ace Riker or Ace Riker with Matt's head. Um, again, I'll be able to kind of pick this out, but it looks like, looks yellow. So we'll find out though, won't we? These can sell for 150 in this condition where it's got a little bend in it, 150 to 300 bucks carded. Um, loose, I don't see them too often. And you have to watch out for counterfeits that are out there that are, trying to pass off and a playful line of this as a actual item. So keep that in mind because it's easy to find this jet. And then if you're, you know, crafty enough, unlike me, you can actually paint it black and then sell it off as that. And that's, that's lame. I hope nobody actually does that. Um, but again, it's, it's one of the more unique pieces in the collection. And I know there are a ton more out there. I know there's collectors that have more than I do. So I'm always interested to see what you have. And, you know, if you've ever come across these in the wild too, I've never seen one at a show, uh, at a toy store, even when I was younger, I don't remember ever seeing them. But again, I didn't live in, you know, Argentina area. So I don't know if these were only in Argentina or if they kind of migrated up to the States. I can kind of see like, um, and it's not a knock against it. It's just like, I can kind of see it as like a, like an old, like, what's the name of the store? Uh, not, not a dollar store, but like, um, I don't know, just that, that, you know, that, that neighborhood store that, might have had these for some reason um I hope, I hope that makes sense the one thing i will point out on the packaging um i know the artwork wasn't done by lance anderson but it's still pretty good and i do have uh one of these well i did have one of them um actually out of the package why well, not i didn't do it it just came that way um but you can kind of see some of the artwork on the back of it there where they they kind of mimic what Lance did for all the other packages. 
it's really well done. Whoever whoever the graphic artist was for this packaging and all the other packages that have come from Playful Line did a really good job, I think, in mimicking the box art and the packaging. So kudos to that person. Um, and the only other thing I'll point out before we close out here is that it does use the original mask logo, not the not the variation of it where the the cannon canopy is closed or the explosion isn't there. So I guess this I guess this happened. See, I think over Europe in the Europe area, I think there was like I think there was some kind of limitation on showing that kind of violence in the packaging. So I guess they didn't have that here. And it's just interesting to note that they used that one um, as opposed to one of the other ones that were out there. So if you have any questions about this one or any other ones, let me know. I'll answer the best I can. And until next time, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later. Spectrum's got such super vision. Nah, nah, nah.